After iCarly was nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Children's Program a whopping five times. Hang on, kiddo! Okay! Oh my god! Eight more seconds! After iCarly's January 2010 episode I Saved Your Life reached 11.2 million viewers, the second most viewed telecast in Nickelodeon history. <laughs> After iCarly released a television film titled I Go to Japan, two soundtracks for the series and a video game. It's not our fault we're late. You can blame Kyoko and Yuki. They kidnapped us. And ditched us in the middle of nowhere. With no snacks. Or a proper restroom. <laughs> iCarly has been off air now for almost 10 years, believe it or not. Beginning its run in 2007, the Nickelodeon show enjoyed six seasons of solid ratings before ending in 2012. With 97 episodes, iCarly has been credited as one of Nickelodeon's most successful television programs of all time. The pilot episode debuted on Nickelodeon on September 8, 2007 to an audience of 4.1 million viewers, followed by the second episode, I Want More Viewers, on the same day with 3.9 million viewers. The most watched watched episode is I Saved Your Life, which aired January 18, 2010 to 11.2 million viewers, which is also the second most viewed telecast in Nickelodeon history. But then in 2012, iCarly had the lowest viewership of a premiere ever, with only 2.4 million viewers, which likely led to the series being cancelled the following season. However, iCarly diehards will be happy to know that in December 2020, a revival of the series was ordered by Paramount Plus, with Cosgrove, Crest, and Trainer returning. This series featured Carly and her best friend Sam who improvised comedy at a school talent show audition, the tech-savvy Freddie records it and posts it online without informing them. After seeing the girls' strong chemistry and banter together, the online audience begs for more, and the iCarly webcast is introduced. The three teenagers quickly find their normal adolescent lives now thrown for a loop when they discover that they've become online sensations as their show, which features talent contests, recipes, problem solving, and random dancing, receives international praise. Since the show's finale, the cast has gone on to do their own work and continue to make headlines. One star went on to pursue film and television, starring with voice work in a successful film franchise, while another star went on to pursue stand-up comedy, performing her tragic comedy one-woman show I'm Glad My Mom Died, while developing a drinking problem. Another star went on to pursue acting and co-host the podcast Radioactive Dads, which features conversations between friends about parenting and life, while two other former stars continued to act and one produces music. Hey guys, it's Carrie the Vampire Slayer and today we're doing a series titled Where Are They Now? We're taking a look at the star-studded cast of iCarly and what they're all up to these days. I mean, maybe you know a bit about what Carly and Sam are up to, but what about Freddie? If you want to see more Where Are They Nows, let us know down in the comments who you want us to document next. How about some more Nickelodeon shows, like maybe The Amanda Show, or maybe Disney ones like That's So Raven. They have some of the most insane stories. Anyways, let's get into this video. Somebody came up to me and um, they said, would you do a picture? And I was like, sure. They looked really uncomfortable. And I realized that they actually just wanted me to take the picture of them, not to be in the picture. After iCarly ended in 2012, Miranda Cosgrove attended the University of Southern California, majoring in film and claims she hopes to one day write and act in her own material. While pursuing higher education, she continued her voiceover work for the Despicable Me franchise, which she'd begun appearing in during 2010. She voiced Margot in all three films. In February 2013, it was announced that Cosgrove would be starring in Girlfriend in a Coma. And also in 2013, it was announced that Christina Ricci left the cast and the project had several problems, and the project was later cancelled. The following year, Cosgrove performed voice work in the animated film Mouse Tale, and also starred in the horror film The Intruders with Austin Butler, portraying the role of Rose. In addition, Miranda was cast in the NBC comedy pilot Crowded that debuted in May 2016. However, the show was cancelled just after one season. Her latest projects include a role in the film North Hollywood, about becoming a pro skater, and a guest appearance on an episode of ABC's The Goldbergs. Rand is also set to star in the iCarly reboot to release in 2021. What I realized during recovery was that my eating disorder and my addiction to it had really been covering up all of the 
uncomfortable feelings underneath it. After iCarly ended, Jeanette McCurdy played Sam Puckett on the Nickelodeon spin-off series Sam and Cat, which also starred Victoria's star Ariana Grande. The show aired from 2013 to 2014, and in 2015, McCurdy began starring on the Canadian sci-fi series Between. A few years later, McCurdy wrote and directed the short film Kenny. Sadly, in September 2013, her mother died after battling cancer for 17 years. In March 2019, Jeanette publicly revealed in an article published by the Huffington Post that she had suffered from anorexia and later bulimia from age 11. McCurdy had talked about seeking help after her sister-in-law noticed the disorder and various come to Jesus moments, such as once losing a tooth from regurgitating stomach fluids that wore down her tooth enamel and passing out on a friend's bathroom floor from dehydration. In addition to her struggles with eating disorders, McCurdy is a recovering alcoholic, having begun drinking heavily shortly before her mother's death. In a 2020 podcast episode, Episode, McCurdy briefly mentioned that she struggled with obsessive compulsive disorder as a child. Earlier this year, she began performing her tragic comedy one woman show, I'm Glad My Mom Died in Los Angeles, but all upcoming performances are currently cancelled due to the pandemic. If they weren't so safe on set and we didn't have such a great stunt crew, some of us could have died. Um, but it was fortunately very controlled and, and everything went well. After iCarly ended, Nathan Kress reprised his role of Freddie Benson on one episode of Sam and Cats. Nathan also continued his career in the entertainment industry and appeared in a few films including the disaster flick Into the Storm. In addition, Nathan also did voice acting for various Star Wars projects too. Kress recently worked on full screens Alive in Denver and Netflix's Pinky Malinky, while he and actor Brett Deverne also currently Host the podcast Radioactive Dads. The podcast features conversations between friends about parenting and life, and as you can guess, he's already a dad. Cress has regularly talked about being a devout evangelical Christian and has said he feels a responsibility to be a role model for younger fans. Cress is also known for his charitable work as he has worked with various causes, including the Big Green Help, the Make a Wish Foundation, and the Starlight Children's Foundation, where he has given money to help people build houses for the poor. Back in 2015, Cress became engaged to his girlfriend, actress stunt performer and Into the Storm castmate London Elise Moore. They married on November 15th, 2015 in Los Angeles. Their first child, a girl, was born on December 21st, 2017, and on March 22nd, 2021, Cress announced the birth of his second daughter. Nathan is also set to star in the iCarly reboot in 2021. 12-year-old boys don't get excited about underwear! Underpants, yay! <laughs> After iCarly ended, Jerry Trainer continued to work with Nickelodeon, starring on the show Wendell and Vinny and doing voiceover work for Tough Puppy. In October 2015, Trainer formed the band Nice Enough People with guitarist vocalist Michael Gorman, drummer Andrew Zuber, and guitarist Allison Skiglotti, who also happened to be a co-star of Trainers in Drake and Josh, as the character Mindy. Trainer plays bass for the group. In 2017, Trainer voiced the recurring role of Commander Cohn on Bunsen is the Beast. Since 2018, Trainer and Michael Gorman have starred in a comedy web series called The Porch, which is available on YouTube. In 2018, Trainer starred in the film Cover Versions, written and directed by award winning filmmaker Todd Berger. The film premiered at the 2018 Palm Springs Film Festival and was developed for distribution by Sony Pictures. More recently, Trainer appeared on Netflix's No Good Nick and an episode of Disney Channel's Bunked. Jerry is yet another cast member set to star on the iCarly reboot in 2021. It's gonna be. Gibby licious. Um, no, but I mean, uh, if you're a fan of Gibby, you're gonna love the show. Definitely explores more of Gibby that you've never seen before. Like, it definitely explores the character more. Now let's see what Noah Monk is up to. Shortly after iCarly finished in 2012, Nickelodeon greenlit a spin-off show featuring Monk as Gibby. Found on IMDb, the series pilot episode was filmed, but it has never been publicly released. Monk did, however, reprise his role as Gibby on an episode of Sam and Cat. In 2014, Monk began starring in the hit ABC comedy The Goldbergs as Rob Smith. In addition, iCarly fans will recognize him from his appearance as Bobby Sinclair, the junior lawn mowing entrepreneur in the True Green commercials. In addition to acting, Monk has also produced electronic music under the aliases Noxy K and Sad World Beats, and also creates independent comedy videos on YouTube. He released his first song, Beginnings, in 2012, and since then, he has begun to release songs he created to his YouTube accounts. In 2013, Noxy K released a single called Killjoy in SoundCloud and YouTube. It was reposted on SoundCloud by EDM.com and has become one 
one of his most successful singles to date. While his YouTube channel, Sad World, is dedicated to weird, absurd, and experimental comedy sketches, and that videos have a distinct editing style designed to overload viewers' senses. Coming from the entertainment industry, I really understand these issues because mental health issues are endemic in our business, mm -hmm. right? So I grew up seeing depression, anxiety. Known for his role as Naval Pepperman after iCarly, Reed Alexander reprised his role on the show's spin-off, Sam and Cat. He also published the cookbook, Cool Bites. However, in recent years, he has shifted his attention from the entertainment industry to journalism. While attending New York University, Alexander spent a semester covering business, politics, international affairs, and breaking news for CNN International in Hong Kong. He then received a master's degree in journalism from Columbia University. Alexander is currently working as a Wall Street reporter at Business Insider covering financial organizations. Today, Alexander is an advocate for children's mental health and spoke out about the tragic events that happened in Parkland, Florida. All right, I think I'll bring this Where Are They Now to an end right there. After checking out the cast members of iCarly, what did you guys think? Was there anything I missed about the cast? If you'd like to see more of this series, be sure to let me know who's next in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all next time. Bye!